the nameless little planet is believed to be Earth-like and orbits at a distance to Proxima Centauri that could allow it to have liquid water on its surface, an important requirement for the emergence of life. Never before have scientists discovered a second Earth that is so close by. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a second Earth and it is close to Earth. That is exciting. Put on your I'm excited undergarments and let us go. Science the fudge out of this funker. Funker. Yeah. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. You're right, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have some new Planet X news, asterisk, and it's pretty close, asterisk. Astronomy Exoplanets. We are over at the universe today, reading an article by Matt Williams. This was updated August 14th. Earth-like planet around Proxima Centauri discovered. And this is major because Alpha Centauri is pretty dang close to Earth, asterisk. The hunt for exoplanets has been heating up in recent years. Well, that's an understatement. Since it began its mission in 2009, over 4,000 exoplanet candidates have been discovered by the Kepler mission. That is one exoplanet finding foo of a robot. Several hundred of which have been confirmed to be Earth-like. Ergo, terrestrial. And of these, some 216 planets have been shown to be both terrestrial and located within their planet's habitable zone. Habitable zone, aka the Goldilocks zone. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. But in what may prove to be the most exciting find to date, the German weekly Der Spiegel announced recently that astronomers have discovered an Earth-like planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. That is just a hop, a skip, and a jump of 4.25 light years away. Yes, or one trip to the Goldman Sachs star chamber. Yes, in what is an apparent trifecta, this newly discovered exoplanet is Earth-like. It orbits within its sun's habitable zone and is within our reach. But is this too good to be true? Probably not. They may have a more advanced civilization and using us as a slave planet as I speak. So that's not good if it is true. For over a century, astronomers have known about Proxima Centauri and believed that it is likely to be part of a trinary star system, or I call it a star field, along with Alpha Centauri A and B. Located just whatever light years from the binary pair, the low mass red dwarf star is also 0.12 light years or 759 astronomical units closer to Earth, making it the closest SAR system to our own. Proxima Centauri is our sun's closest neighbor, located 4.25 light years from our sun. They'd find an Earth-like planet there, bro. Using the La Silla Observatory in Chile, the unnamed source says they found a planet in its habitable zone. If true, this may be the closest habitable world to Earth and presents a huge opportunity to study and communicate with exoplanets. Project Starshot hopes to send a nanocraft to Alpha Centauri. Maybe we could send it to Proxima Centauri instead. In the past, the Kepler mission has revealed several Earth-like exoplanets that were deemed to be likely habitable. And recently, an international team of researchers narrowed the number of potentially habitable exoplanets in the Kepler catalog down to the 20 that are most likely to support life. However, in just about all cases, these planets are hundreds of millions of billions of light years away, so nobody cares. Knowing that there's a habitable planet that a mission from Earth could reach within our own lifetimes is nothing short of amazing. But of course, there is reason to be cautiously optimistic. Citing anonymous sources, the magazine stated, The nameless little planet is believed to be Earth-like and orbits at a distance to Proxima Centauri that could allow it to have liquid water on its surface, an important requirement for the emergence of life. Never before have scientists discovered a second Earth that is so close by. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a second Earth, and it is close to Earth. That is exciting. And, you know, just because people are like, hey, if life is going to exist in the universe, it has to exist the exact same way it does here on Earth. It doesn't seem very scientific. Sometimes science doesn't have very good imagination. You ever get that feeling? I do. And I'm getting it right now. In addition, they claim that the discovery was made by the European Southern Observatory using the La Silla Reflecting Telescope. Coincidentally, it was the same observatory that announced the discovery of Alpha Centauri BB back in 2012 which was also declared to be the closest exoplanet to Earth. Unfortunately, subsequent analysis cast doubt on its existence, claiming it was spurious artifact of the data. Hate it when that happens, man. Seriously, bro. However, according to, to Der Spiegel's unnamed source, whom they claimed was involved with the La Silla team that made the find, the latest discovery is the real deal. It's a holy field and was the result of intensive work 
as opposed to just hosh posh ass grabbing and stumbling over the closest earth like exoplanet ever finding small celestial bodies is a lot of hard work the source was quoted as saying we were moving at the technically feasible limit of measurement the article goes on to state that the eso will be announcing the finding at the end of august too late it's already been announced but according to numerous sources in response to a request for comment by the AFP, ESO spokesman Richard Hook gave the story of the hook and refused to confirm or deny the discovery of an exoplanet around Proxima Centauri. We are not making any damn comment, he is reported as saying. And then he flipped everybody the bird and strolled off in his penny loafers. What's more, the folks at Project Starshot are certainly excited by the news. As part of Breakthrough Initiatives, a program founded by Russian billionaire Yuri Milner to search for intelligent life, with backing from Stephen Hawking and Mark Zuckerberg. What makes us think that that intelligent life is friendly? Yeah, what makes you guys think that the aliens are going to be friendly? You know, like earthlings aren't even really that friendly. So what makes you think everybody else will be? This craft they claim will be able to reach speeds of up to 20% of speed of light. At this speed, it will be able to traverse the 4.37 light years that lie between Earth and Alpha Centauri in just 20 years. Or in less time than it takes to build a James Webb Space Telescope. Oh my God, seriously. Boom. See what I did there? All right. Don't get mad at me, defense contractor. But with the possible discovery of an Earth-like planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, which lies even closer, they may want to rethink that objective. As Professor Philip Lubin, gross, a professor at the University of California, Santa Barbara, the brains behind Project Starshot and a key advisor to NASA's Deep In, grosser, you need some Lubin for some Deep In, I guess, program, told Universe Today via email, the discovery of possible planet around Proxima Centauri is very exciting. It makes the case of visiting nearby stellar systems even more compelling. Though, we know there are many exoplanets around the other nearby stars, and it's very likely that Alpha Centauri system will also have planets. You think? Naturally, there is the desire, especially among exoplanet enthusiasts, to interpret the ESO's refusal to comment either way as sort of a tacit confirmation. And knowing that industry professionals are excited about it does lend an air of legitimacy. If there's one thing space agencies need, that's an air of legitimacy. But of course, assuming anything at this point would be premature. Premature speculation. We get in trouble because of it all the time. If the statements made by the unnamed source and quoted by Der Spiegel are to be taken at face value, then confirmation or denial will be coming shortly. In the meantime, we all just need to be patient. Still, you have to admit it's an exciting prospect, an Earth-like planet that's actually within reach and a mission that could make it there within our own lifetimes. This is the stuff good science fiction is made of, you know? Yeah, I know, but we're trying to do real science here, bro. Anyway, fascinating. Make of it what you will. I'm still more interested in stuff in our solar system, but this is interesting. We finally found an Earth-like planet somewhere near Earth. Or asterisk. Okay, peace out. Everybody stay cool. Enjoy life. Be kind to others.